A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of each of us in our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with our inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Holy Spirit, because he intercedes for the Holy Ones according to God's will. We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose, for those he foreknew and he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be forever. Blessed be those who fear the Lord. Your spouse shall be like a freightful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive branches around the table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the person blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, what can it be seasoned with? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket, but they set it on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, for they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> 